think this is a, one of Lydia's coats. The next item is this. I think it's one of the Delsford candles. This one's a nice. My friend had it in the house. Which pumpkin would you like? So it's this kind of croc, chunky sole. Good morning guys, welcome to another vlog, welcome to my channel. So I'm currently at Heston West Car Services. Uh, we're actually going to Cotswolds just for a day, uh, just to spend a day at our farmhouse and uh, explore some other farms. Uh, but part of this vlog is going to be obviously this trip, but also Autumn Hall. <laughs> so if you're here for fashion, I would definitely recommend keep watching. So yeah, I booked a fairy tale farm, which is not far from Soho Farmhouse. We're gonna probably eat at a Soho Farmhouse. I can't really film there as uh, if you're a follower, you know, it's a members club. So you're real, not really allowed to take pictures or film. And this is the start of the vlog. I would love if you hit the subscribe button, like the video and let's start. I'm just waiting for my husband because I needed to use toilet. Seven months pregnant. Yes, you do need a lot of toilet breaks. Uh, and we're getting some diesel. That's actually, uh, I'm sure you probably, if you are from UK or you live here, you probably have seen on the news there is a shortage of petrol and diesel and yeah we have seen a lot of petrol stations without it some petrol stations literally with the tape going around like not even accessible so we're trying to probably full get a full tank at the disc car services there was long queues so hopefully that's the lucky one that still has got some supplies but it's quite terrifying isn't it but what can you do i'm not gonna let it to ruin my day there's the end messing around oh no he hurt himself so i better go he needs a hug from mommy oh come here did you hurt yourself oh um, say hi everybody hi everybody oh. Would you like? This one's really nice. My friend had it in the house. I may get that, but I'll try the fig leaf as well. So we're now taking Liam to the fairy tale farm. We have pre booked tickets. He can't wait. That's a Snow White, Liam. Snow White, We're currently at the fairy tale farm. It's only, I think, 15 minutes from the Soho farmhouse. I bought just a couple of bits. Maybe I can do a mini haul tomorrow when we get home uh, because I, I guess we're going to probably arrive quite late and quite tired. So I'm sitting down here on the bench because I've got a bit of Braxton Hicks. So I want to be careful. And we got up really early, but we do every day. But just we got out of the house really early uh, to make sure we manage everything. And Liam is having a blast here in the fairy tale farm. Uh, so it's it's really lovely for kids. And we're waiting. Uh, we're letting him play here and then waiting for the kind of petting animals zoo to open where you can actually feed them and pet them. So that's going to be lovely and then we're going to head to Soul Farmhouse to eat. 
and hopefully we can manage uh, to stop at Jeremy Clarkson's farm shop as well. So yeah, I bought the wine tomato candle, which I smelled that my friends cut in the previous vlog and I thought that's really nice and kind of cozy, despite it sounds really weird. But yeah, it's very gloomy. I, it was saying overcast, but you know, I, I always forget when you get out of London, overcast can also be very misty and foggy, but it's really nice. It reminds me of home. Right, we're doing a double duck racing. Are you there? William's been waiting for this part for a long time, the animal part. in Delsford, like a mini haul, so I got this garlic and her butter, quite melted but should be okay. Liam picked this up, I'm pretty sure you can get this anywhere, <laughs> but he just loves gingerbread. This yummy looking uh, organic carrot cake, the wine tomato Delsford candle, organic raspberry jam and the focaccia bread. Yeah, and I also picked this at Soho Farmhouse, the extra virgin olive oil, so we can have it with focaccia because I don't have any really, really nice one at home. Good morning, guys. So, I wanted to show you my Monday look. Hair up because it's raining and, to be fair, I don't want to put too much effort and then just ruin my hair wearing Misoma earrings. And then two items you will actually see in the haul, so you kind of see it on now, but I'll try to show you again. Um, so I've got old Zara dress. Like it's non, obviously non-pregnancy, but still fits nicely. And I think that is that piece that I already had that will get me through to the end. And then I'm wearing a new leather trench coat from Karen Milan. I'll link it all below. And these boots, and I'm going to take Louis Vuitton back. Um, I'm actually heading, well, first drop off school. And then I'm heading central to Karen Millen showroom, well, Boohoo offices, because as you probably know, Boohoo bought Karen Millen. And then for lunch with my friend Julia, who's also blogger, uh, content creator, whatever you wanna call it. I don't really like the word influencer, but that's widely used. So yeah, this is the look. It's really rainy, so perfect for today. I will probably take a car, because I forgot Liam's scooter at school and I'm hoping it's gonna be there. So I will put it right in the car so I don't forget on the way back. And I don't think, obviously, we would use it because of the rain. So, hopefully it's gonna be a good day. I'm not gonna lie, the weekend took a lot out of me. Tomorrow I only have got, I think, midwife appointment. So hopefully I get to rest tomorrow and just do stuff around the house and bits and pieces. smooth journey and then after this I'll have to shortage house. Sorry for the noise, I'll have to shortage house to meet my friend. I think it's around 12 o'clock. I won't be here this long but I can sit there and I brought a book. Uh, Maria found already I'll just publish a new book. Which I'm not sure if I showed you but if, if I haven't I will probably include it in this vlog as well. Currently in the showroom, uh, obviously Boohoo owns a lot of brand, Karen Millen, Coast. We have got Nasty Girl, Warehouse and Wallace. I was actually meant to go uh, to Wallace as well. And I can see Debenhams there as well, but um, we haven't scheduled a date yet. So maybe I can quickly just ramp through uh, the collection. These are apparently the newest bits, but look at this. I mean, wow, perfect for party season, oh my god, how cool is this, 
Obviously not for me now with the bump, but everything looks fantastic. This is gorgeous. I think this is one of Lydia's coats. Oh, it's actually lovely, very classic. Is there anything else from her collection? Oh, this is pretty. I love a good waistcoat. So yeah, some lingerie, and accessories. It's super lovely and I think I'm gonna pop to Zara just because I haven't been for a long time in an actual shop because I'm not that tempted to shop <laughs> when I'm pregnant and I've got so many new things anyway. It's gonna be nice to see what new stuff they have. Hi guys, I am back home. I picked uh, Liam up at school and um, I wanted to kind of catch up because I don't think I'm going to be filming the whole today <laughs> so I'll leave it for tomorrow. Tomorrow I have a midwife so hopefully I can squeeze it in in the morning alongside some TikToks but I do need rest. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you that uh, yeah I've been doing quite a lot uh, so I need to start to prioritize more but this week is also busy. I've got some meetings already set up for the week after so it's a kind of catch-22 because I'm trying to do the most important stuff but at the same time I want to focus on work, still create content, look after my child and all <laughs> all of this but uh, yeah it would be good if I can have a nap maybe after I come back from the midwife tomorrow so maybe work morning midwife and maybe have an hour nap so fingers crossed wanted to catch up about the trip and today as well so we had the nicest trip uh, to Cotswolds. Um, I done actually a few times just to go for a day. We are very early birds. Um, Liam wakes up early, we wake up early. So I think we left like maybe 6.30. And we first stopped at Delsford, got some baits, which I've showed you. And then we went to the fairy tale farm. I think it's actually really lovely, uh, despite having maybe just from what the, some of the reviews, like three and a half stars. But Liam truly, truly enjoyed that. and. That kind of gave him the real farm experience he thought like obviously this whole farmhouse has got some animals I think they've got like chickens you can see and pet the horses you can book like horse riding but it's not like all the animals like he has seen at the fairy tale farm and yeah we went to Soho farmhouse uh, I saw one of my favorite models there Rosie Huntington Whiteley so she was there with her partner Jason Statham to be honest I love them both so I was a bit like fangirling uh, she's also pregnant. I was trying to see the bump in real size, real life, that, <laughs> because on Instagram it's still not obvious. You know, she posted a couple of pictures and she's also expecting her second child. Uh, but I think uh, she was wearing like a loose, it, it was like a loose top, um, so I couldn't see much. But they both look fantastic. She's, she's just beautiful. Very successful, very influential, both of them. Um, and then after that we headed to, oh yeah, we wanted to go to Diddley Squat, which is um, the farm I mentioned <laughs> that we wanted to go. But honestly, I think um, the farm, farming show um, just made it such a tourist spot that when I saw the queue, I'm like, oh my god, no chance I'm even trying. It was massive, massive, massive snake. So I think it was the best decision. Uh, for him to actually go on the show and, and do it like great marketing um, and um, It's really funny because I, I mentioned it to my friend that we went to see the farm shop and I wanted to I wanted to buy something I was saying to Tyke if we buy one thing we're gonna buy the honey uh, It was actually being shown uh, shown on the show Because I'm running out of honey and I wanted to try then I always like like organic honey that is directly because that's how I grew up, like my neighbor makes honey back home in Czech Republic, so everything is just so clean and organic without even properly trying, <laughs> but oh my god, if you saw the queue, it was just unbelievable. I think it's a tourist spot now and good for him. So yeah, that was uh, Cotswold and this morning I went to the showroom, Karen Millen, obviously it's a part of Boohoo Group. Uh, so I kind of saw the other brands they had as well. Funny enough, I got mess um, I got email from Wallis to come to the showroom. Uh, but 
I think I couldn't do the time I was offered and then we've never agreed another time. I think one of the reasons being is because the PRs, most of the PRs would now work maybe two, uh, two to three days in an office and they take, they rotate. That's what most people would tell me. Uh, so yeah, it's the time is quite limited so <laughs> to find exactly what I can do and the PR can do. But it was really lovely uh, to see the collection, really nice catch up. I just love talking about the market and in general, like I just really enjoy what I do. And I like the influencers world as well and the whole kind of digital space. Uh, so that was nice. And then I met with my friend Julia. She's one of the first girls from the blogging industry I've ever met. Again, at the same event as I met Claire Chanel, Tamara, I think my friend Atosa, Hannah Kroski, so we were all at the same event. So that would be one of the first events, like bigger events with GHD, which Tamara, I think, back then hosted. Uh, so yeah, I've known her for years, so always the nicest catch-up. Um, uh, she is got, she's a very down-to-earth person. Uh, I think many, many years ago she interned here for L, but now she's doing this full-time. And I've known her for years, so that was such a nice catch-up. I can never film really in the saw houses. I've tried to film a couple of snippets in the saw farmhouse, which maybe I'll try to insert in the vlog even like on the side because some of it is just on my phone, like on the stories. But I try to be really careful because we're not really meant to do it. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's the catch-up. I really fancy a warm bath because I'm so tired. You know, like when your eyes just want to close itself, but you know you can't. Um, so another early night, but I'm trying to break it because I keep waking up every night at three to go to the toilet and I can't sleep. So imagine basically I sleep, you know, from eight, I have to go to bed to eight to, to survive this, eight to three every day, and then I don't sleep. So I need at least eight hours, slightly over eight, ideally eight and a half to nine. But yeah, most of the days, most of the nights I don't get it. So tomorrow I want to finally, I've got also so many parcels to unbox. It's a bit of a mess here. It always happens when I'm not home and just out and about, but then it's fun, you know. And I managed actually to book the Graffalo tour. You would have seen vlog last year when I went with Liam in the Kew Gardens, which is lovely. And this time, I don't know, maybe it hasn't been advertised properly yet in the tubes, because once it advertised in the tubes, the tickets are gone, uh, so I managed to book that um, for one Sunday in October because we've got quite a lot going on. I think we're going to go to Ascot one weekend. We've got um, probably twice we're going to go to Pumpkin Farm, one that is closer to us and one in the Tully's Farm, which is amazing. So already a lot of things in plan and only always four weekends in a month. Anyway guys, stop rambling seven minutes in, but I thought I did and I owe you a catch up. I'm gonna now get my hot bath and just enjoy it as much as I can. Morning everybody. Uh, so I'm having my cup of coffee. I've just done uh, my hair and makeup because I wanna create content today. So a little bit more glammed up than I would normally go to drop off Liam to school. And I actually have got maybe half an hour uh, before we need to start properly get ready. Perks of waking up at five o'clock that you already managed so much. And Liam is watching cartoon downstairs. So I thought I'm going to quickly show you and go through the new items, the autumn items, predominantly autumn items um, that I wanted to share with you. Um, so I will start with probably shoes. I have got another pair coming, I think, in the post today, which are trainers, but I think I will keep it for another vlog because this is already quite long. And to be fair, I want to get on with editing this and um, finish actually ending this vlog with the haul. So I will start with a pair of boots, which I already worn. So it's these kind of croc chunky sole um, that are still trending, I'd say from two years ago. Uh, yeah, when Bottega came with the really chunky soles, then everybody was wearing it, high street, um, high street brands started to copy it. And obviously I would say these are a little bit of combination of my rubber boots from Zara, but those are grey. Uh, I just wear them so much and I love them. Uh, and these are just a little bit lower than the Zara ones. So I thought this is a nice option. Um, and I also love a cro good croc effect, especially now when I'm pregnant, I want a comfortable shoe, comfortable boot, um, 
at least for the next uh, three months or 12 weeks. <laughs> Let's see when the baby's gonna come. Uh, so I thought this is a great option. So these boots are from Karen Millen. As always, I'm gonna link down everything below uh, so you can guys have a look. If it's not available, I'll try to find a similar alternative. So all the links, anything I mention in the vlog, not just the haul itself, you will see and I will also you will see these in the cutouts in different sort of styling so I will also try to link whatever I'm wearing with it if anything catches your eye and you may want to purchase it it doesn't cost you anything it's uh, literally the same price uh, so no need to worry about that so I really really like these I wore them actually to the Soho farmhouse trip that you will have seen in the vlog and I actually wore them yesterday when I went to the Karen Millen showroom and then uh, for lunch with my friend Julia. Um, so you would have seen these already on so I thought I'm going to start with these. The next pair is from one of my favourite shoe brands from Nicolas Kirkwood. Um, I just love a good pair of designer top quality shoe. and. These will probably surprise you considering most of my Nicolas Kirkwood are very dressy. But the brand has done um, a collaboration with Farfetch. So these are exclusive to Farfetch. You can only buy them either on Farfetch or on Nicolas Kirkwood website. Again, I'm going to link them down below. And it's these also kind of chunky sole boots that are going to be absolutely amazing for upcoming weather, colder days. And they're ultimately inspired, or they are ultimately a fancy version of a hiking boot. So you would have the signature pearl here, which is very signature for Nicholas Kirkwood. But other than that, they look, obviously, the vibe of Timberlands. Like, when I was growing up, this style of boot was very popular in Czech, and <laughs> we called them traktorky. And you won't believe it, but actually I was in the store, I think it was TK Maxx, and I was looking at the Timberland ones in this color. I'm like, oh my god, that would be such a good boot. I think it looks really cool and effortless with like a long, really long maxi coat in the winter. And I was like, oh no, like, just wait. And and then these came along, which I'm so delighted with. Um, I haven't worn them yet, but I can't wait to style these and just really use them the whole winter because I think they are beautiful. Obviously, I need to spray them as well just to make them more waterproof but I think it's a it's a beautiful cool comfortable shoe that can come with me I can wear them in the city but I can also bring them to any of the trips to the countryside so I think they're super cool next item is this I think this is a forever piece obviously we'll definitely need to see this style to uh, to show you the shape but you would have seen it yesterday when I was um, again going to my meeting um, but it's a leather trench from Karen Millen and it's amazing, honestly. It's like butter, you know, beautiful classic Karen Millen cup, stunning tan color, you know, the classic detail you would have on, for example, on any Burberry trench, or at least my Burberry trench has these buckles here on the sleeve. It's belted, and I just think it's so beautiful. The tones are really, really great. They have it in other colors, so again, I will link it down below. Obviously, it's not the cheapest thing in this haul, um, so the previous shoes and this one. But I think something like this, when you get, it's forever item. It is like having a Burberry trench that, yes, you spend quite a bit. I think this retails around £600, but Karen Millen, I don't know if they still have it. So hopefully when this goes live, they still have it. They've got, I think, a discount, I think 20% on everything. So you may be lucky and actually get this cheaper. Um, but definitely such a beautiful item. I would say with Karen Millen, obviously I'm pregnant, so I picked larger size. So this is actually size 14 because I wanted to fit the bump. So I'm in my eighth month of pregnancy, I'm in a third trimester, and I can still so, so, <laughs> so, so button this up and um, belt it. Uh, but I also prefer slight things that are slightly oversized. So when I'm buying coats, despite being a size 10, I usually go for 12 because I want to be able to fit in my jumpers, my knitwear, my um, you know chunky sweatshirts or anything that is a little bit bulkier. And with Karen Millen, my experience, because I shopped there a lot, especially when I was working in an office environment, a lot of dresses and stuff, I, um, I basically always recommend 
like size up just because they're fitting. Um, I've agreed actually with PR yesterday on it. Uh, yeah, it can be quite tight, especially when it's something like this. There's no stretch, you know. It's not. It's not. It's a proper tailored piece. So you want to make sure it fits really well and you feel comfortable rather rather tight, especially when you're spending a little bit more money on something. But I think this is such a good investment. It's absolutely beautiful, it's durable, it's something you're gonna have in your wardrobe 10 years later and it's a classic leather trench. Now the next item is a really really cool oversized blazer and I want to show you the back first because you can kind of keep the button here, it's got open back or you can cross it up to here and create kind of interesting shape. I think I got this one in size medium. Again, I wanted to fit the thumb, but I also really like when it's super oversized. It's got pocket, gorgeous gray color. And I also wore this already in one of the vlogs. So you would have seen it, but I will style it for here as well. You would have seen it on my Instagram. If you don't, guys, follow me on Instagram. It's Evie Glamazon. And also, if you're kind of interested in getting some of the pieces you would see on my Instagram or in general. Um, if you sign up for the Like to Know It or Shop Like to Know It app, I can link it down below as well. I always link what I wear on Instagram, so all the items, but I also do like edits that are seasonal edits or relevant edits for this time of the year. Uh, so for example, I would go and, you know, search jackets that are currently trending for example the frankie shop one is currently trending and a lot of the high streets are actually selling out their dupes or inspired by the frankie shop that that sort of jacket uh, so for example i've done this morning which i've loaded the best jackets i could find that are kind of quilted jackets um, and to be fair they are really trending i could see that when i published the h&m haul because the blue one is also very frankie shop inspired and I know a lot of you were buying that jacket. So yeah, you can always shop there um, and have a look what I'm wearing. But this is a really, really cool blazer, which I know I will wear definitely post-pregnancy as well. I love the big, really oversized fit. Uh, so I'll link this down below as well. The next item you will probably also have to see on, but all, probably you have seen this already on my Instagram, on my Reels or TikTok. But I haven't shown it here. It's basically this bodycon. Uh, dress with ruching and all the details here around the breast area, which I think is obviously adding it something extra than when it would be a plain um, Just like a really plain um, Bodycon dress So it's giving something extra and it also I like how it breaks the body especially now when I'm pregnant But this is definitely another dress. I will keep post-pregnancy. I got a size small to medium I still fit in it so so I don't think I will probably a uh, one month down the line, but now if I would go out, this is definitely a really good option. Again, you can wear with oversized blazer, leather jackets, whatever you like, uh, with boots, with heels. I think it looks super cool. Kind of that trendy item that I can wear now and, and also after I give birth. And the last item is this oversized kind of waist, I would call it um, knitted waistcoat, uh, whatever you want to call it, in a beautiful kind of neutral shade. Um, I think I picked this, sorry if you hear Liam, he's just playing here in his room. Um, so I definitely see that maybe over a white shirt, now leggings, um, maybe even with the Nicolas Kirk boots or with these boots, you know, such a cool piece that can change a lot of looks. I think you can wear it over a dress, you can wear it over a slip dress, you can wear it with jeans, you can wear it with tailored trousers. You know, with a simple top like this, you can wear it with roll neck. Like, there's a lot of ways how to wear something like that. This is a small to medium, and you can see it's super oversized. That's the only piece I haven't tried on. But again, I'll style it so you can guys see what it looks like and get an idea about the fit. I appreciate for those who are not pregnant, and this may be quite irrelevant that you can't then imagine it on a body without the bump. But... You know, I have no choice, I can't take the bump off. So it will have to do. What I like is also basically the ending here. It kind of adds a really nice texture to it. And it's got a split on the side as well. So I think from what I saw it on the website, it looks super cool. So this is the end of the video. I really want to finish the video here despite having quite busy week full of meetings. So I've got a midwife today at 11. Um, 
and I would love today to have a bit of rest, hence why I'm filming this even before I go to school, so I can then film the cutouts when I drop Liam off, and then some other videos for my socials. So there's been a lot of content going out. I would absolutely love, guys, if you follow me across, obviously, other channels like my Instagram, my Twitter, my um, my TikTok as well. They're always, like, linked down below in the description box. Happy to get that follow, obviously, across other channels, not just here. And if you haven't subscribed yet, um, please hit the subscribe button. Uh, there's Liam sneaking in the room. <laughs> like the video and I will see you in the next vlog then. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.